over the last couple of hours, really. Yeah, oh, certainly in with a shout there, weren't we? I think when you get the Aussies three down for not many, um, you really want to put the foot on the throat, and, and I guess that's why they're such a quality side, as they can get themselves out of tricky situations. And, um, I mean, we knew that going in. So uh, for us, it's about how we can keep the pressure on her for longer. I thought we were probably... Just let our foot off a little bit, which is a bit disappointing. But look, I thought there was great effort in the field. I thought one of those catches that Maddie Green holds on to and the game changes again. So, look, there's certainly still a lot of positives to take out of it, but we know the side that we're up against, but we know they're up for the scrap. How did you feel going back from the start? How did you feel after, after 20 overs batting? Oh, look, I think we're probably 15, 20 runs short, if we're honest. I thought we probably laid a platform there to, to take it on a little bit more in the last five to six overs. Disappointed again, probably just to lose a couple of wickets in clusters and sort of just slow down momentum down a little bit. But um, great effort to get to, I think it was 129 or 130. Um, but, yeah, look, I think... Um, I thought we actually put the Australians under pressure as well with a bat. I think, again, Amy Satterthwaite was brilliant there with the bat. We, we're starting to see her really come into form, which is nice to see. And with, the, with the bowling, there was obviously some well sort of thought out plans in terms of um, not just the way you bowl, but the way you set your field to it. Yeah, we um, obviously do a fair bit of work behind the scenes, Rob Nicholl, Jacob Oram um, and Bob Carter too really, I guess, study the opposition and, and I guess what our strengths are as well. I think that's something that we really want to keep honing in on is what our strengths are and how we can bowl to our strengths. So for us it was about um, little tweaks in the field. There's some unusual ones there today, but again, when they come off, it's certainly very pleasing. How tough was it for you to try and juggle your bowlers, given, um, given the circumstances, as you say, of having them three down? and also just how the wicket was playing tonight? Yeah, I guess that's the, that's the tricky one as a captain, isn't it, when you've got 10 bowlers to potentially use in your side. Um, there, there is plenty of options, but I was pretty clear going into the game which bowlers I wanted to use. Um, and then it was just a bit case of, of reading the pitch and the conditions and also the game situation. Um, so, so, look, I, I think on reflection, I, I probably would have made a few tweaks here and there, but I think that's all about the learnings that you have as a captain and as a leader and, and reflecting on those decisions. But again, we we'll th had them three down, so certainly doing something right. They obviously went after Melly. Do you think it was more a case of the fact that they were you know, well behind the run rate that they couldn't just play out four overs from here at sort of four or five and over or so? Yeah, and I think they know the threat that Melly has, Melly has, I guess, as a league spin bowler too. And that's the thing with league spin is not just Melly. Any league spinner is they either take wickets or they go for plenty of runs. Um, and that's them as a wicket-taking option. So, look, I think we know how world-class Melly is and we'll back here to, to bounce back. Um, but we also know that the Aussies are probably going to try and take her on, which is great because we know that's going to bring chances. you think when you reflect back tomorrow, you'll see this as a missed opportunity. Obviously, they're just straight out of... Uh, in my queue and, and probably a little bit rusty, but when I say missed opportunity, more the fact that, that it sort of actually took that game away from you rather than sort of you, you know you guys let it slip. Uh, yeah, oh, it's probably a combination of things. I think it, it doesn't matter if the Aussies have been in two weeks quarantine. They've been training every day, so I know maybe they might be short on game time, but look, I don't think we can use that as an excuse, or they can use it as an excuse either. Um, but certainly I think we did. We, we probably let it slip a little bit. I thought we just, as I said, probably took the foot off the throat a little bit there. And, and, and look, credit to Ash Gardner. She batted exceptionally well. She played to her strengths and um, you know, targeted Mealy in that over, which probably swung the game in their favour. But for us, it's about how we can keep bouncing back. Cricket's a, a game of momentum. So for us, it's how we can keep swinging that back into our favour more times than not. As you say, it's small margins, isn't it? If, if that catch had held for a second longer and Maddie's hand or, you know, one of the ones that went over the boundary by inches or so, you're, you're right there. Oh, absolutely. And that, that's, cricket can be a pretty fickle game at times, not just in the field, but with the bat as well as, you know, slightly one side of the fielder or, you know, it's, it is. It's small margin, especially at this level. Just one from me so far, I guess... Uh yeah, look, we're really excited to get down the road to Napier. Obviously, you haven't played there too much, actually, as a white fern side. So certainly looking forward to the conditions there. Obviously, the pitch uh, and the ground is sort of a little bit unique in terms of the dimensions. So uh, I guess a bit of strategy will come into that as well. But again, another double header with the Black Caps boys. So really looking forward to that. Cheers. Thanks, guys.